Welcome to the New St. John Fellowship Telecast, a place where we are becoming an end-time people for the end-time church. Our overseer is Pastor Clarence Stevens. We are located at 1615 North Toby Avenue, P.O. Box 1760, Gonzales, Louisiana 70707. Our telephone number is area code 225-644-2949. Our email is nsjohn at newstjohn.com. Our website is www.newstjohn.com. Sunday morning worship service will be held at 11 o'clock a.m. Wednesday night Bible study will be held at 7 o'clock p.m. If you need help, we're compelled to pray with you and for you. Our major concern is that the Holy Spirit bears witness with your spirit that you are saved. Make sure you let nothing keep you from doing the will of God. We ask God to bless you for watching. Oh, it's for us also. Amen. Thank you, the, the elders and to the well beloved guests whom I love in the truth. Beloved, 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 beloved. I wish above all things. I wish above all things that you may as what? And be in health, even as thy soul prosper, prosper. Thank you. I wish above all things that thou mayest mayest prosper and be in health. Yes, So you can't prosper and be in health until your soul prosper. So and we know how your soul and spirit are together. We know that. You know that they, but so that's where you get your two opinions from. The spirit and the soul. They're contrary one to the other. Now, now, now I want you to want you to, they, they're not mixed now. But, but they're adjacent, but they're not mixed. Like, like, like I can stand or anybody can stand adjacent to the worst sinner and still not mixed. So that's the way it is. It's not mixed. But you, it's adjacent, but it's not mixed. Not mixed. Otherwise, the soul, if, if we're mixed with the spirit, it would contaminate the spirit. So we can't, we can't but, but you can stand adjacent to it but, and, and, not, and not mixed. But if you start mixing, then there is a problem. So your soul, one is uh, contrary. Yes, sir. And the spirit always agrees with those things of the word. That is the, the, the things of uh, the things of the truth. Things of the truth. The spirit will agree with that. But the soul is the thing that is contrary. That is the thing that the devil messed up. The devil messed up. Is a soul in in the beginning. In the beginning, uh, the, the, they uh, the, the Trinity got together and said, "All right, all right." They made man, and they, and then he blew into the the breath, and he became a. That, that never changed. Okay. That soul, that soul, that soul. Now, many folks think that the soul you save in your soul. Well, you, you no, no, your, your soul is not eternal. Your soul is not eternal. The, that's it. If the soul will be, and the spirit will separate. I'm, I'm just adding this in there. The soul and the spirit will separate with the second resurrection. The first resurrection, you're going to get up with a soul and a spirit. Then there will be a second. After the thousand years, there will be a second resurrection that will separate the soul and the spirit. The soul is not eternal. The soul is earthly. But the spirit is heavenly and eternal. So God is not a soul, he's a spirit. Oh, yeah. So Christ, Christ uh, became a soul for our benefit. That's right, he did it for us. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.
So as your soul prospers, as your soul, uh, now, now also, uh, what, what, when, when uh, I'm just adding, when Adam, the manly, uh, Eve led him astray and he, he followed Eve. Yes, sir. Lord, I just said something now. Yes, sir. Follow, follow, me. follow. <laughs> Be careful. Be careful, brothers. Be careful. Yes, sir. If Adam had never fallen, I wouldn't be looking at you today. Amen. But because he followed Eve. Be careful. I said that for a purpose. Be careful. Yes, sir. Weigh, yes, sir. weigh things out. Amen. Weigh things out. Amen. I know you're loving all that, but uh -huh. weigh things out. Yes, sir. Weigh things out. Weigh things out. Weigh things out. Y'all heard me, brother preachers. Y'all yeah. heard me. Weigh, weigh things out. Because uh -huh. Eve messed all of us up. Oh. I mean, missed all yes, of us. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Just for reference, Samson's wife yes, messed him up. All his friends took it. Messed him up. He trusted him. Sarah almost messed up Abraham. But I'm glad Abraham checked it. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wait now, y'all don't want to hear it, but I'm, I'm telling you the truth. I'm telling you the truth. I know you don't want to hear it, but I got to preach the truth. In every case in your Bible, the woman messed the man up. Every case. Every case. So it's time for some godly men to pull this thing together. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. You may not like that, but if I got a godly woman in here, she's gonna say, right on, brother. You what I want, you what I want. Nobody want a weak man. We want somebody to stand for principle. Hallelujah. Stand for what's right. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, right on, brother, right on. All right. All right. Wait, wait, no, wait, wait. I, I, I'm being repetitive. Yes, sir. I, I want these brothers to get it. Yes, sir. I want these brothers, uh, y'all, y'all. Yes, you, you got it? Oh, y'all, oh, 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 all right. I get it. It's time for some godly men to be godly men. I know you're a lover and all that business. I know all of that. But let's get this thing straightened out. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Every case in your Bible, the woman led the man astray. They were too weak. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. All right. All right. And I want it known. This man gonna stand. You got to, you got to come in line. Uh, oh, all right, all right. You got to come in line. This man not gonna he's not gonna get out there. Uh-uh. Too much is at stake. My soul and my spirit. All right. All right. Okay. okay. I thank God for Abraham. Abraham finally got it straightened. Got it straightened out. Now we can follow Abraham. Follow him. Hallelujah. He got it all straight up. So anyway, the soul. Your soul got messed up yes, because Adam yielded. Yes, Hallelujah. And then when the serpent came, I'm, I'm, over, I'm getting ready to sit down. When, when the serpent came, you notice he didn't come to Adam. He didn't come to Adam. He came to Eve. Persuaded Adam. Yes, sir. Oh. Yes, sir. Oh. Yes, sir. Can you imagine how she was talking? Can you imagine how she was talking? Can you imagine how she was in his ear? Yes, 
Uh, Adam probably said, okay, honey, I'll do it for you. <laughs> I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready. Now, we're laughing, but that's the truth. That's the truth. Why did the serpent come to her? God gave Adam the law, not her. Okay, okay. Now it's time for the brothers to. And now, you, now, now, sister, you can you can have a good life if you got a strong brother. You can have an excellent life. If you got a strong brother that will not waver. When whatever God say, that's it. That's it. Now, if you don't want to line up with it, there's always a door. <laughs> now, now, I'm not being mean, but that's the way it is. Somebody got to stand up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. All right. Anybody going to do it, brothers? In my church? All right. All right. Line up with this word and stay there. Hallelujah. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. But anyway, anyway, so he messed the soul up. The soul lost the spirit. The soul was dead. That's what God said. It, 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 uh, it, it dead, dead. And so God, God, I'm moving on. Just give me a couple. Of, all right. So I'm trying to give you a little history so you understand where we are today. Okay. So when Adam sinned, God said, the day you shall surely die. Meaning the spirit was given life to that soul. You remember he breathed in it? You remember he breathed and gave it, gave it life? Give, give it life. So the, the, the soul became living. Now when he died, the spirit left the soul. Left the soul. So, now, but as good, now, now, now listen, let, let me show you how good God is. Now God, now God said, all right, now since they, they lost the spirit, I still want them to live, but I'm going to give them another way. I'm going to put blood. And I'm going to put skin. And blood so they can still live, but the soul will be dead. So when you become born again, now I, I, I'm getting ready. You got to, this. This I'm getting ready to give you faith now. When you become born again, that soul, uh, watch me, that soul is no longer living by blood. Every saved person in here, your soul now is living by the Spirit. Oh, I just threw you. Uh, I just threw you. I, I just threw you. I, I just. I wanted you to know that. I want you to know that. When you become born again, the blood is not keeping your soul alive. It's the spirit doing it then. That spirit has come back from God in your soul. But then you say, well, I still got blood. Yes, but it's not keeping your soul alive. All right, okay. All right, all right, okay. All right, all right. Okay, so and your soul, so I said all that so that you, you can't, I don't care how hard you pray, I don't care what you do, you can't prosper, you can't be healthy, you can't get healed, wait now, y'all, y'all not hearing me, y'all not hearing me, nothing can happen, that's right. He's telling you, he's telling you, nothing can happen in your life until that thing of God, which is your soul, got to prosper. You got to get it straightened out. Nothing will happen in your life. So you got to, you don't have to work on the spirit. The spirit is already righteous. But it's the soul that's messing you up. You got to get the soul to say it is. Oh, uh, the spirit going to say it is, but the soul going to say, no, it didn't. No, it didn't. So you got to get the soul to say it is. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, okay. Oh, I'm, 
I'm, I'm, okay. Anybody want it? Uh, a, a couple, couple people in here. Uh, you, you, aren't you tired of living paycheck to paycheck? Aren't you tired of that? Aren't you tired of that? Aren't, aren't you? Now, God, all, all God has to do, all God has to do, is say one word. It is. That's God. That's all God got to say. It is. It is. It is. It is. It is. Wait now, y'all. Did anybody hear me? Amen. That's all God got to say. It is. It is. It is. All right. All right. As it's so hard. All right. As it's so possible. As so Amen. When you take this communion, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm cutting it short, I'm getting um, communion today. I'm hoping the really saved will make a determination. It is. I want you to know, uh, I'm giving, getting ready to give you faith. Faith. Those that understand you were crucified with Christ. Amen. You were on that cross with him. You were on that cross. But it takes faith for you to know that. I was on that cross. Yes, I was. I was crucified with him and they buried me with him. And when he got up, I lose. I lose. I lose. Hallelujah. I'm going to eat today and drink today because he is. My life is, uh, my prosperity will prosper because I'm going to see to it that my soul will come in line and say it is. Understanding can change your life. It is. It is. It is. One understanding. It is. It is. It is. It is. All right. If you got it, give God thanks. So, what is it that you have to work on? Not your spirit, it's the soul. The soul is that second opinion. It's always negative. Contrary to what the word says. Always. That's what you have to work on. When that negativity comes, that's what you got to deal with. Yeah. Satan uses that as the man was across the sea when they got on the other side. He uses that to block your prosperity. Until you are able to get your soul in line that's going to happen in your life. Did you read it? Did you read it? Did you read it? I didn't make that up. No, sir. My job is to teach it. Amen. Give you the understanding. Amen. Then I'm finished with it. Amen. It's up to you. Amen. In order for you to prosper and be healthy, yes, your soul, yes, your soul yes. has to prosper. Yes. Meaning it has to come in line with the spirit. Yes, Lord, it is. 
Your spirit is saying it is. Your spirit is saying God is. But the soul is saying no. It won't happen. Give you an excuse. Offer excuses. With God, there are no excuses. Excuses. You got this and it won't happen because of this and that. It won't, nothing happened because you got this and you got that. This and all these problems. And with God, that's not it. God is. I don't care what they tell you you got and why it can't happen. I don't care what they say. All you got to say, it is. According to God, it is. I'm closing, I'm closing. Amazing grace. Did you get it? Give God a hand clap if you got it. Amazing, amazing grace. Hallelujah. So, when you eat and drink today, if you're saved, you already died with him. You went in the grave with him. And you got up with him. Because he is, I'm is. Oh, I got up with him. Did you get up with him? It takes faith to believe that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because he lives, I live. Hallelujah. Live on. Live on, live on. Everything about my life now, it is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. It is. That's what Christ was teaching them. This is how you use faith. But they didn't get it. They didn't get it. He even showed them the church. But they didn't get it. They didn't get it. Take it away from me. If I got to walk on, I don't mind walking by myself.
Make sure that you keep it in your heart and live by it. Hallelujah. said that the devil tried to stand up against me and I had to uh, hallelujah the devil don't want you to hallelujah all right but he has no power here I'm gonna say it again I'm gonna say it again You saw the difference. The devil is gone now. The difference, all you got to say, it is and God's spirit. That's what you have to do in your own personal life. The devil is impeding you. Blocking the things of God. And because you don't have the power to cast them out, make him get out of the way, did he stop you from getting what you want to be getting? Your soul got to prosper. Your soul got to prosper. God bless you, God bless you. God. 